the Senate Democrats, Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer, are staying on Joe Biden to cancel $50,000 in student loan debt. Can you believe it? Y'all, I think we're getting closer to student loan cancellation than we think. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. Have you read the article where Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer, the Senate Democrat, about 50 of them, has signed a resolution to get Joe Biden to sign an executive order to cancel $50,000 in student loan debt. Now, Joe Biden has been talking about doing $10,000 in student loan debt and he did sign an executive order to extend no student loan or interest payments until september 30th of 2021 but the senate democrats no they ain't having that they like joe sign the executive order to cancel fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt and i'm here for it now i found it very interesting in the article it states that trump administration is saying that it would be illegal to cancel student loan debt through executive order but i recall trump extending the student loan no payment or interest until december 2020 and he even extended it through executive order through February of 2021. It sounds like if he had been elected to be president, he would have canceled some student loan debt because he did say that he was gonna cancel some, but then now he said that it would be illegal to cancel it through executive. Now what they were saying was that Congress should really be passing this law to either forgive all of the student loan debt or some of the student loan debt, but the Democrats don't agree and they're saying that Joe Biden can sign an executive order to eliminate the $50,000 of student loan debt. So drop down in the comments and let me know, what do you think? Do you think that they should eliminate $50,000 of student loan or not? Now it sounds like Joe Biden is on the fence about this and he is really wanting to eliminate $10,000 of student loan debt but the democrats are on him and they're saying no joe you can eliminate fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt so i mean we'll have to see but you know what i say you know start high and then maybe we might end up somewhere in the middle so maybe it could be twenty five thousand <laughs> opposed to just saying ten now they're saying by eliminating the student loan debt that this can really stimulate the economy now jump down in the comments and let me know if they were to forgive fifty thousand dollars of your student loan debt now say like me i have fifty six thousand dollars i'll say fifty seven thousand dollars in student loan debt so if they were to eliminate fifty thousand y'all would be so happy i would only have about seven thousand dollars in student loan debt and yes i would pay that off now would i put that back into the economy so drop down in the comments and let me know if you did not have any student loan debt would you be putting more money into the economy now in the article elizabeth warren is stating that counseling student loan debt is going to help those people that have student loan debt and not have student loan debt because it's going to help the economy now the only thing is i don't know that she talked to the people that done pay their student loans off or don't have student loans because i don't think that they agree with what she's saying because see the people that pay their student loans off they don't think that it's fair that they're going to pay $50,000 of our student loans off and then their student loans didn't get paid. Now, on the other hand, they could be saying auto loans, mortgage, rent, credit card debt, you know, all these other debts. They're saying people are defaulting on those too, but the only thing is, is that student loan debt, you cannot, especially federal student loan debt, you cannot discharge in bankruptcy compared to the other debt you can discharge that in bankruptcy so i mean i don't i don't know you know on the one hand since we're 1.7 trillion dollars in student loan debt and it keeps going up we really have to think about what are we going to do with the student loan debt now i have said and i say it over and over and over again i really think we should start with the student loan interest and then kind of work our way but they are wanting to them to eliminate $50,000 in student loan debt too. But if they're gonna still allow people to borrow more student loans, then they have to make some changes because we're gonna just end up in the same position that we are maybe five years from now or probably sooner than that. So we really need to hear more about what they're 
thinking about that they want to do opposed to just eliminating the 50,000. Like, that's really my true opinion. But y'all down in the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on it? Do you want them to eliminate your $50,000 in student loan debt? Do you think that it's fair for people that have paid off their student loan debt? And how do you think the people that are defaulting on their mortgage, their car, their credit card debt, you know, where do you see student loan debt compared to credit card debt, auto loan, housing, mortgage, and all of that? How do you see all the debt? This is going to be very interesting, guys. I think, I think in 2021, there's going to be some student loan debt cancellation. Now, I can't say exactly how much student loan debt cancellation there's going to be. I don't think it's going to be 50 but I don't think it's gonna be 10. I think that it might be in the middle. And if you guys remember, I said that I thought that Joe Biden would maybe extend the no student loan or interest until September opposed to March or April or even June. <laughs> so let's see if I'm gonna be right with the student loan debt cancellation. I hope that I am. I'll be excited to get any amount of my student loan debt Council, but I think what they should do is cancel maybe $25,000 of student loan debt and then erase the interest. Yes, maybe they could do that because I really believe they're going to have to do something with the interest because if they don't do anything with the interest, so we'll see. <laughs> I hope that you found this helpful. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and turn on your notification bell because I'm going to be giving more information and next time I really, I was already working on a video about private student loans because we talk a whole lot about federal student loans, but we don't talk about those private student loans and even those direct student loans because those folks are still paying their student loan debt and they probably have issues paying their student loan debt, but all the federal student loans, you know, we're talking all about that but we're not talking about the private student loan. So that is definitely something I'm gonna be looking into. So yes, turn on that notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when new content comes out. And I thank you so much for watching and until next time. It's not a gift.